When the U.S. Space Shuttle program winds down next year, many will ask, what's next? Well, the answer is not another type of shuttle, but a small craft called the Orion. John Zarella gives us a tour. This is the inside of the future. It's a mock-up of the Orion spacecraft. If the shuttle was the limo of spacecraft, then Orion is, well, the smart car. Designed to be much smaller, cheaper, safer than shuttle, and to go a heck of a lot farther. By 2015, we hope to have humans on board, and then after that, it's just a question of where we want to go next, because this is a multi-purpose vehicle and it can go anywhere. Since the end of the Apollo moon missions, no humans have gone anywhere but circling the Earth or to the space station. Orion, Apollo on steroids, could go there too, but its real reason for being is to eventually take astronauts to the moon, perhaps Mars. Its first deep space mission could be to an asteroid called 2008 EA9. So in 2019, we could be sending two Orions docked together with two crew members on board out to do a spacewalk and scoop up some of that asteroid and bring it home. One time space shuttle commander Pam Melroy says two astronauts would be plenty comfortable inside the cylinder during the three month trip and no problem at all for four astronauts going to the moon. I assure you, in zero gravity, when you can float, this is lots of room for really? four people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, easy for her to say. Orion is supposed to be ten times safer than shuttle. One reason, a powerful launch abort system. In its first real test, three rocket motors produced half a million pounds of thrust, pulling the crew module away from the pad in a matter of seconds takes you from zero to 600 miles an hour in three seconds. At the Kennedy Space Center, NASA and Lockheed Martin showed off a mock-up of the escape system and the crew module. Young Patrick Gallo has no problem with the notion of an Orion ride to an asteroid. It'll be, it would be fun to see something you've never been to before. Now, there's one big stumbling block to all this talk about flying to the moon or an asteroid. Orion can't propel itself out of the atmosphere. You need a powerful rocket. And while it's coming, that rocket doesn't yet exist. Perhaps a case of the cart before the horse.